30. Hello again, I'm Victoria Idoni. Vote 2020 takes a big step forward tonight as President Trump and Joe Biden face off in their first debate. Due to the pandemic, Trump and Biden will not be shaking hands tonight. The size of the audience will also be limited. Both men will be foregoing opening statements and President Trump will receive the first question. Tonight's topics will include questions on the pandemic, the Supreme Court and the economy. But we've got some other questions as well, like will tonight's debate sway any undecided voters and could there be fireworks? We caught up with SIU's director of debate, Todd Graham, to get his expert take on what tonight's debate could look like. I think it could actually be a really wild debate. Uh, it just depends on how, how good of a job Chris Wallace does as the moderator, uh, because these two gentlemen are both known for interrupting people in a debate and for getting overexcited in debate. And, you know, hopefully Chris Wallace can get a handle on things and we can get a better search for the truth, which is always what debates are about. But, but if he doesn't do that, then we'll have a lot of interrupting. We'll have a lot of shouting back and forth, a lot of talk, and, and it could be chaos. I don't know that they'll hear anything unless they've just been under a rock that they haven't already heard before. But what they could see perhaps is difference in attitude. Uh, they could see a different Joe Biden than they were expecting, perhaps either bad or good. Uh, so if he stays like angry too often and he's shouting and pointing his fingers as he's done in debates before, uh, if he does that too much, they probably won't like it. But if they see the clever Joe Biden who's got quips and uses his sharp wit, then they might go, hey, that guy's not so bad after all. A debater who is ahead, like most of our teams at Southern Illinois back in our heyday when we had you know, our great debate teams, we, we were expected to win the round. So I always told my debaters, don't take any risks. Our arguments are better than theirs. Don't take any risks. Yet, if I thought we were an underdog, our strategy would be nothing but risk taking. And so I think that's how you approach the debate. If you're Donald Trump, you have to uh, sort of get people's attention. If you're Joe Biden, you have to be steady. The first debate is the most important one, and the first 30 minutes of the first debate is the most important, especially given mail-in voting. Now, mail-in voting is still a drop in the bucket compared to the number of people that will be voting on Election Day, but it's significant, and they might be waiting until they want to see the first debate, and they might not wait for a second debate. So you can't, like, you, you can't wait with all your good arguments and, like, I'll bring those up in the next debate. You've got to come heavy and hard in this first debate and basically convince everyone why you should be president because there's no chance like the first chance. So tonight's it. Some good advice there. Graham will work to grade tonight's debate and we will bring you his analysis tomorrow. But ahead of that coverage tonight at 10, we'll have a live reaction from a local political science expert, Matt Lees. He'll be right here in the studio with me to break down what happens on the debate stage.